Let's continue. Last session, we covered linguistic regularities and we started with a very simple recurrent neural network model. And the objective of training this model was to give us word representations or vector representations for words in our vocabulary. So just to be on the same page and then have an, have an intuitive feeling of what we are actually doing, I want you to think of yourself. Each one of you have their own personality. According to your personality, some of you have closer personality to each other. Some of you are totally different. Uh, but if I look at your student ID, there is not much information that I can get out of it. It's the same thing. Each one of these words are conveying a meaning. They have their own personality. But if you look at only their ID in your dictionary, there is not much information in it. And the whole exercise of trying to train these vectors is to actually inherit as much information as possible and encode it within your word vector representations. In that sense, once you look at a row of this matrix and another row, these two are gonna correspond to two different words. And then uh, because these are vectors, now we can compare them together. Are these two vectors close or they are far apart from each other? Do they have similar meaning or do they appear in similar context? Yes or no. So you can think of the vector representation as the personality, as the meaning of your words. And those one hot uh, encoded vectors or the indices in terms of integers as the ID, as the student ID of these words. Now you're going to understand why in our space of vector representations, if you add the same vector to the vector representation for the word man, uncle, or king, you're going to turn all of them into women. It's going to be a woman, aunt, and queen. It's the same thing that was in terms of semantic. We can change the syntax. You can change your words from queen to queens, make them plural. Any questions about this concept of word representation? Is everything clear? Okay, perfect. 